back and forth Has got me so messed up, don't take no The signs we've had enough of the whole damn thing that we got going You hold the strings without me knowing Why do I have to suffer through the thinking? Why do I have the feeling that we're sinking? I need to find a way Turned around, but I can't ignore the feelings that I found in this whole damn thing that we got going. You hold the strings without me knowing. Why do I have to suffer through the thinking? Why do I? Sinking, I need to find a way Hey everybody, welcome. Um, so I decided to pick up on this uh, today as well. Uh, maybe later on I'll play a little bit of a game just to relax. Uh, but I'm really motivated uh, since the last stream uh, due to the what we found out, what I found out wasn't working and why I think it isn't working. So, uh, just to summarize, last stream we got all the uh, detouring working uh, with new code as well, a little bit more uh, modular code um, with different functions. Um, and now we need to find how to solve the, the following problem so when we when we detour the exported symbol for some of the modules is already too late so in the main function of the library when we hooked create process w it works because this func the, the create process w function is being called by a mod by a, another library called xul.dll uh, and that being uh, Xavier uniform lima.dll which is loaded after we create the, the, the detour the export table detour The problem is that there is another function that is called by Firefox to create child processes called create process as user w. And this function is called from the firefox.exe process itself. So that means that when we load our li library, the export address for 
uh, this function has already been resolved so even if we deter, deter the function on its export table um, Firefox is going to be using the original one because it already resolved uh, the proper address, the original function address. So we need to find another way of doing this. And I think the way of another way of doing this is by using the import table. Um, because when Firefox uh, calls the resolved address, it calls it from the import table, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I'm not. Um, to that end, we, we I'll, I'm going to try to implement it and see if that is the case. I remembered um, that uh, in a previous stream I actually started all of this with the import table method and it wasn't working at the time I didn't really understand why but then I found another problem which was that uh, it wasn't only calling one function from one location but it might call multiple functions from different locations which is the case that we have being called from the firefox.exe process or from the xul.dll um, module. So I thought that let's just hook, instead of hooking the function in every single import table for every single module, or for these two modules, or module slash process, let's just hook the export table and only create one hook. But then now we have this problem, which is we are hooking the export table way too late for the Firefox process. Um, so, well, I think we're gonna, I'm gonna implement a new function to detour, uh, import table and see if it works and, uh, hopefully it will. Otherwise, um, yeah, we are have, we are going to have to use another, um, method of detouring the functions. Well, so how can I do this? Uh, <clears throat> I think I saved the original um, import um, detour function. Um, ah, wrong keyboard, wrong keyboard layout. So, and I think I put it here. So this was the original export table hooking function and this was the original import table hooking function. So, what do we need for this function? <sighs> Let me see it right. We need... We will need the um, address for the module or process that has the import table entry that we want to detour. In this case, Firefox.exe. We might need the import DLL name if we don't want to iterate for through every single uh, DLL that is imported or module that is imported or that has imported functions. Okay, so what we need 
then start um, let's call it module address anyways and we replace it with this And just by looking, I know why originally this function wasn't working. It's the same problem that we had with uh, the detour function, which was basically we're trying to put a 64 bits value into a D word. So it was basically overflowing because the 64 bit value was actually, in terms of number, was actually bigger than uh, 32 bits or longer than 32 bits. That's already a... Uh... Anyways, uh, so we need the module address. Because here we could potentially compare, um, because this is not an offset, this is an actual address. So we can potentially compare direct directly the symbol address that we want, instead of doing uh, string comparisons. At least not in here. So we can just do this I think we can make use we basically exchange uh, computing cycle or iteration cycles for simplicity so if we remove this comparison checking which module which uh, imported module we are looking to uh, Two. yeah and then instead of doing a string comparison we do a straight away I ah, know this is an offset no no it's not it's not an offset first thunk so we always iterate iterate over the first thunk So if we ignore this, we need to we need to make sure that we don't lose this, otherwise it gets stuck on the same place forever. So we need to increase the import descriptor, increment the import descriptor. Sorry. Then we need only the first thunk because we, if you're only gonna do the comparison of addresses, uh, yeah, but. Mm. Because otherwise, how do we do this? First tank. Okay, let me just. As. Original address of data function. Uh, it's a union, so depending on what it is, as a union of all of this. Uh, 
Can I make this work? Gets the first dunk. Yeah, because it's Same thing. checking if so if we ignore all of this when we just go through the first tanks which are the one that contain the addresses if we do this we do And instead of address of data, we use function. Then we ignore the image, the import name. Um, and we basically do something similar to this one something similar to this one and oh, my bad sorry it's you long you long right Yeah, it's you long, you long, so I don't even need to cast it. So I can just. This is the original one. And we check that it's the same that we were looking for. And then we do. A virtual protect um, so virtual protect is a I don't need to do this at most I would need I will need to do a cast to a pointer And the size is not a D word. What the hell was I doing? Really? Oh uh, no. Yeah. What was I doing here? This is clearly a uh, you long you long. I was just lucky that this was actually working because when virtual protect it changes the entire page that contains that specific memory of address and size, and not just that specific small region of memory well I was really struggling clearly um, so old protect one so if it fails to change that address 
then it exits. Otherwise, I don't know what I was doing here, clearly. Does this actually change the value? I'm wondering. I'm not sure. Let me see. Let me see. I'm not sure if that just doing that will change the value. I think it will, but. What address? Let's try this one. No, I have to do a difference. Yeah, indeed. I um, dereference. De sorry, mispronounced the word. I need to do a dereference. Um, funny because this one doesn't do it do I need to do a dereference or not I think I need to do a dereference okay let's try without the dereference I'm pretty sure I'll need to do a dereference but anyways uh, another breakpoint here so and now I just need to Restart the address. And I already seen another error as well. This is size of you long, you long. What the hell? Okay. Oh no no wait wait no it's so it's okay because this is the export table never mind <laughs> I was already doing um, otherwise we just increment the first tank and just before. Should be okay. So we are ignoring import name, uh, module names, and uh, function names, symbol names, and we are just comparing comparing the symbol address. Pretty sure I need to do reference this value. No time it is. Marvin Divine. Okay. Uh, how do we do this then? And you know how we feel. Uh, we call apply the tour. For this one, for the import tables, we don't need the trampolines. So I think I'm gonna call this apply export detour. Uh, 
apply export detour apply import detour um, Does the pep contain the actual process as well? I don't think it does, does it? think it does but I think it's only DLLs. Yeah, I think it's only DLLs. Um, Let's go with the flow and we see how it works. Templin address is null. So when we come here, we have to check if detour Templin address difference from zero L. do is this and this returns false right because before every we you always we always fill this entire structure but now we don't so and this needs to not be ready to export the symbol something here uh, so here gonna have um, what am I doing gonna have a byte which specifies the type of detour and this byte is gonna be Type import 
which is a zero uh, x zero two and the export one is for well, I can do it the other well it doesn't matter just since we created first one and then the other so let's just keep it like that um, so when we call the remove detour function if type equals no it's not equals um, a percent needs to be a percent so we are doing a bitwise operation to make sure um, export My bad. Um, and then so if it is a an export table, then we call this function. And then we do this. Otherwise, if type import thing yeah we need another variable here because we need um, yeah indeed so um, where's the detour so we need the module address original address hook address trampoline address and we need uh, I don't know, owner address, maybe. So it's basically the processor module that contains the, um, the import table and these ones continue to have the same uh, meaning. So this is basically, um, I could reuse it. leave it let's not overload the meaning of the module address on the detour function let's uh, leave it as it is so uh, detour imported function module symbol address Uh, 
sorry. Let's minimize this one here. Actually, we can just actually let them be the two together. And then this one here. It's more sense to group them on import table handling and export table handling. Um, so we need the module address. Well, we don't really need it, do we? Actually, I only need here. Is this... No... Owner address. This is not the module address. This is the owner. Owner address. Owner address, which is going to be here and then here. Owner address, function address, and straight away here is the hook address. We don't need no trampoline. And we define here a tour owner address equals owner address. This is change the type so we need to change the type to ah oh, man type import Yes, indeed, it is different. So... Um, we don't need this. We don't need this. Let's see if it just comp it won't compile because it's gonna fail on the main module. But I also want to know apply import it to oh I didn't save it. Peter imported symbol. Just running the code in my mind, seeing if I can catch stuff, because I need to also change this one. Uh, I need to type 
Modulator Sukadris and then the owner address is zero L and then when we remove we basically want to return the detour imported symbol address now we need to revert we need here we need to use the hook address and then on the hook uh, hook address we need to use the original address because we are basically reverting the change that that we did one of the things that is missing on this function is clearing out these values that we need to do so if we do this false else if we didn't fail then result becomes this I could I could just do result equals this first and then check if result equals false or equals true then try to erase the trampoline um, I think I prefer like this I think I prefer like this and otherwise if it is an importable detour we do this and result and basically now we, we check if result equals uh, Jesus That's the problem of writing in multiple different keyboards with different layouts. So then we clear. If we succeeded in all steps, then we clear the fun the, the structure. Make sure that structure is. Uh, I could potentially do a zero, a zero memory on this one. Zero memory. It's fast. Well, it's less explicit. Uh, zero memory is a macro, or is it? Um, let me check if this is a macro or an actual function. Uh, it's a macro to RTL, which is basically a memset. 
Ähm. I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use the zero memory. So the destination is uh, detour, and it's the size of the detour structure. See. Yeah. Now the only problem is this one. So we want to say it's an apply apply export detour, and this one is actually an apply import detour, where the owner is get module. And all get module and all uh, null. should work now okay Should have been recently compiled. So, we want to run first the injector, wait until it's, on, it's ready to inject the library. Then we want to attach to the Firefox process. We let it rip. Something is already failing because I didn't got the breakpoint that I that I left behind. Um, because I think I did left a breakpoint behind. I think. Yeah, here I left a breakpoint here. change did it no this didn't change so let's so the int tree here oh, just double check it succeeded So, 
exception breakpoint okay so we reached the function looks good so this is clearly pointing to firefox i think so if we follow yeah it's pointing to the firefox the owner address is pointing to what we want which is the firefox process this is pointing to the name of the library and of the function that we want to hook and this is pointing to the to the detour yeah exactly so we can single uh, no we cannot So let's single step over it. Let's get the module address. Does this make sense to fail? No, I don't think so. No, it returned. Perfect. Let's get the exported address. Succeeded. Create private object. What? No, 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 my friend, what the hell? RCX is not. So this is pointing to the right address. Why is this pointing to... It should be pointing... It's not even close. There's something wrong with the get exported symbol function. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, anyways. So, this is clearly. see any interrupt here oh no should be where is it oh here it is first I think we there's a problem with the great exported function or exported symbol function so let's just does all the validation, normal validation. And it's just before virtual protect that it does the comparison, so it should be this the comparison. So if we run it, clearly not it. Oh, but it's very close, huh?
I think I, I think I overstepped. I think I overstepped. But in any case, it's it's failing because um, I think I overstepped it because I saw in the beginning create something. I just did the single step too far or the run too fast, and it seems like uh, the functions are by alphabetical order. First thing to check um, is clearly that the import address versus the symbol address is not matching, and I think that's because the get exported function is not actually working well for some reason. I'm doing a comparison. Let's try again. Let's try again. And try to debug what the hell is going on with that function. out of this um, what happened oh yeah never mind so we don't really care Exception breakpoint. So this is the first breakpoint, which is when we are applying the So my problem is here Because apparently is returning the wrong address the comparisons so if we do f9 the one let's see when he hits create process we could potentially um, and potentially add the conditional breakpoint. But um,
create code create process as user a as user so this one should return one or zero so it's equal to zero so it then goes on to calculate and uh, rdx should have the right value no it doesn't wow okay wow <laughs> wow wait what i was expecting that rdx at this point when doing the calculations would be wait so why does this work for the other functions? Why is it not... Ah, wait. Wait, I know why. I know why. It's not a problem of this function, but the values that we are giving to it. Um, that we are providing. No. No, it's correct. Oh, wow. This is correct. Is module address? So, I thought it, I was um, doing it wrong and passing on the owner address, but we actually, I think we already saw that the vowels were correct. That's why we were seeing here. Um, so, the problem is here somewhere. I'm doing the math wrong for some reason. Might it be because of that? No, I don't think. Because you long is it's just a D word. understand why this is working for this was working for when we weren't and call apply import okay let's try Make sure we are using no, but the same problem aren't we 
Because I'm making a pointer for a... <sighs> so how does this work? Oh, because I need a pointer to a string. So he doesn't actually get... Uh, but this shouldn't get... Anyways, let's try that. I think the problem is that... I think that's the problem. Let's try that. Projector. So I should access violation. Trying to compare something that he shouldn't. What the hell did I do? This cannot be like, um, no, because this is an offset in the structure itself. This is an offset in the structure itself. So, indeed, it cannot be. It has to be like this. What happened? I'm having a so he's a pointer to a bunch of D words that's what I'm saying right exactly he's a pointer to a bunch of D words so that is correct um... oh, let's just kill it isn't
check the library. Check again. Exception action violation. Oh. Access violation. <laughs> oh my word. Oh, sorry. My bad. I know why it's failing. Because I forgot to. And let's touch. Let's run. And then let's inject the library. And we should... Breakpoint. Not too bad. So the first function succeeded. Now let's see... why when we call it again it's returning the wrong address so this is an op so we are asking the right thing so rcx that's the ADV Advanced API 32 DLL module Azure's R8 Where's R8? Is the result And then RDX Let's create process as user Okay, so let's go So it should hit here. Okay. Breakpoint set conditional breakpoint. Um, how did I do that? Is it a zero flag? Zero flag needs to be one, right? Can I just do it like this? So if, said, if I do like this, does it break? That's, it seems to be working, I think. Save. No, it's not working. Mm, I'll have to search how to... Point. Let's do it the old fashioned way. Let's 
so uh, zero five is one okay fair enough doesn't matter so No, still goes into somewhere else in the the goddamn way. Uh. What am I doing wrong? This makes not what no whatsoever sense. makes no whatsoever sense because this value is the MZ header so it's pointing to the right there's something here that is really mind-boggling me This here is he accessing the array, which is far, uh, fair enough. Must be this one. No, sorry. It must be this one here. So why does it work? Worked in the previous. I'm going crazy, I die. This is returning a value completely. I do because before I was doing I was just doing the okay make sure that there wasn't any hidden bug that I might have missed before because I'm pretty sure it was resolving the correct addresses before so there's something I'm doing wrong hmm. <clears throat> uh, 
as once 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 somewhere somebody said that programming was just you fixing more bugs you introduce bugs to fix more bugs or anyways um You introduce more bugs by fixing bugs. That's what I meant. In any case, so this is for the create process. So, oh, yeah, sorry. This is an op. Actually, this yeah, I can add a breakpoint now. A little bit further down. Anyways, we know that uh, finding the name is correct, so at some point in time it hits. So RDX is pointing to create process W. Perfect. That's exactly what we want, right? So this one is calculating well. Now. Oh, damn it. Did I forgot to copy? Yeah, I forgot to save it. Okay, let's kill everything. I forgot to save the file when I compiled it. Before I compiled it. So that's why it wasn't work it was calling still calling the import function the detour import function instead of the export function uh, uh, injector runs TLS callback TLS callback breakpoint Just ignores. And we can set a breakpoint here. And we need here. So we found it. Of this. This is not cool.
So now we have a serious problem. Because we are returning to apply export detour. And is succeeding. doesn't work very well because it's what is so special about this actually might be also the reason why um, the export hook was not working it was seeing the wrong function so uh, I hate this sometimes um, okay okay so what if what if Let's go crazy. Uh, let's call the original uh, or the official get proc address. function the same for the import table sometimes it's a bad idea to re-implement re things <laughs> when there's no actual need but Let's just run it without attaching to Firefox. Let's see what happens. I won. Which is what we expected. So what if I do here? as well uh, no instead of doing that apply import detour and then we get module handle
Good. It even crashes straight away. <laughs> Is there any interrupts going on here? And there's this one. Okay, that's why it's crashing. So, at least we know it's calling it. So I think the problem was the get export function. No? Is there any more interrupts? No, I don't think so. Uh, maybe in the helper? This is this thing is gonna drive me mad. Uh, Let it rip. And then... Did it run? Yeah, it did run. So... Access violation. So where are you accessing? What are you accessing? So this is clearly... Yeah. So it's doing an access violation, guess where? Here, clearly. Because the rest is just... This is the future. And the rest is just him doing the virtual protect, so he's doing this. So, as I said, I think this needs to be... dereferenced. Hopefully that will be the case. I did save the file, didn't I? So if I move here... Let's launch Firefox again. So we have... We are getting closer, but I think this is also, this is not working at all. Okay, I think that's enough for today. Enough struggle. Um, I'll have to sort this one out, clearly. Um, I'll leave that for the next day. Anyways, thanks for watching. 
and uh, talk to you soon.